This is Slasher here at day two of the IPL5 in Las Vegas, and I am here with Capcom Senior Product Manager Matt Dahlgren talking to us about the new partnership between IPL and Capcom. I think this has been a long time coming and waiting for many competitive gaming and especially esports fans uh, for many years now who have wanted to see the fighting titles on one of the major, more traditional esports leagues compared to the more kind of DIY uh, majors that we've seen uh, throughout the year. Now that it's been announced, um, what are your initial thoughts? How has this all come together? I am thrilled. Uh, this is something we've been working on for a long time, and I'm very happy it's finally announced, and I think it's going to be a very monumental step for both Capcom and the community. Um, as most people know, like Capcom has traditionally shied away from official esports league, leagues, and we've focused mainly on the grassroots tournament organizers. Um, and what was really different about IPL is I believe the people that they've assembled really understand the scene, and their, their objectives aren't really to take things over, but more to complement the structure that's already in place and to give new opportunities to players, spectators, as well as tournament organizers. Um, and I'm very confident in the team that's been assembled, and I think at, what we're going to do is going to be extremely right by the community, so I think exciting times await in 2013 for sure. First, I want to know, so why the decision, because if you talk about Capcom, is made we try to stray away from the large organizations, why the decision to now finally join in with one of the larger organizations. I know you have the Street Fighter 25th anniversary tour so far this year. That's gone really well. Kind of show Capcom uh, how things are going impressively throughout the entire world where you can set up your own events. Has that been a contributing factor to what led up to now? Um, I mean, the 25th anniversary series has been a huge promotion for us. It's gone very well, and we want to keep that momentum going. Um, the stuff that we did for the 25th anniversary isn't really a sustainable business model. A lot of that, all the tournaments were free to enter. We put up all the prize money ourselves, so that's not something we can keep doing year after year. Um, and we want to keep the hype going, and we want to we want to grow over time. And to do that, you need to have good partners on board. Uh, the stuff that's been holding us in the, back in the past was we never really had confidence in a partner that was really going to take care of the community. Community. Um, we, we don't want to sign over with a corporation that just wants to make money off of our, P, our IP. We want to sign with a corporation that wants to build the scene and provide new opportunities to players. Um, and IPL gave us that confidence, and that's why we signed the deal. Uh, do you guys feel like other leagues out there did want to do what you just said, and they kind of just wanted to make money and take over? And how how is IPL different than all the other organizations that have tried to use Capcom games before? Um, I mean, I, I've seen examples in the past of, of different leagues that would go out and maybe host their events purposely on top of other community events to, to take hype away from them. Um, and stuff like that is the stuff that we really want to avoid. And then we had very straightforward conversations with IPL. Capcom is heavily involved in all of the planning process and what we're doing. Um, so we had confidence and an agreement of how we were going to approach this. And, and since we feel we're going to approach this in the right way, that's why we were able to take a step forward. Do you think the community has aligned itself with you? I mean, I've talked to a lot of pro players over the past few years, and they've been very supportive of getting Capcom games uh, in the bigger leagues. But the community as a whole is much bigger than just uh, the top pro players. Uh, how do you think they'll be involved in this? Do you think it'll be different at all with IPL than opposed to other majors, or will it just become another one of the big major tournaments for part of the year? I think it's going to be a lot different, and I think that I think the community will come on board eventually. But we have to prove to them what we're going to bring to the table and why they should care. And it's going to take some time to show people that we're serious. Um, and I think what we're going to do with IPL is I, there's there's so many great stories that happen in the competitive fighting scene, and a lot of that stuff is touched on at tournaments. But for a general mainstream audience that's tuning in for the first time, it's really hard to understand the history and the stories that are actually going on. And I think with um, IPL, we're going to be able to give a deeper dive and have different type of content that's out there that's going to be able to give people a better look behind the scenes as to what really goes on in the competitive fighting scene. Um, and so over time, I think the executions are going to get bigger, the stories are going to get better, and we can bring in a new audience, and that's good for everybody involved. Street Fighter Arcade Edition and Cross Tekken 2013 with two games announced for the partnership. Uh, what were the decisions to have those two games as opposed to just one game or more games 
as the first ones included? Well, those are both uh, completely owned by Capcom. We have all the rights on them, so that was the easiest thing to start with for the deal, uh, to put a deal together. Uh, we're definitely open to having further discussions and seeing where things can go. Um, but, I mean, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition is still the hottest game on the scene, so I think having that as part of an eSports league is going to be really big. Uh, also, next year for Street Fighter Cross Tekken, we're releasing our version 2013 update, and I think that's going to do uh, a lot of good for that title. I think a lot of the issues that people had with that are going to slowly go away and people are going to see that game evolve in a different way and IPL is going to be a great uh, sounding board to show people where those two games are going to be moving forward. I think the biggest omission people would point out is that there's not Marvel was not included in the initial announcement. Uh, should we expect potential for Marvel to possibly be added at a later date? Um, I mean, I can't, I can't confirm if they're going to be added. I, like, we'll definitely have conversations and see what that involves. Um, so right now we're just starting with Super Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Uh, but who knows what the future will bring. Uh, anything is possible. So Mike Ross is now going to be with IPL to kind of help run things for the fighting game Street Fighter and while with, you know, Rob, who's, of course, runs Devastation, mm -hmm. has been there for a little while. Uh, what are your thoughts on, you know, Mike kind of transitioning from being a pro player to kind of now helping the ship here? Is that what, did that help bring this all together? Uh, definitely. Um, before we went into this, we wanted to make sure that we had confidence in the people that were going to be running the show. And we wanted to make sure that someone was going to be there that has an intimate understanding of the subtle, subtle details that go on in the community and how to not ruffle feathers and make this a good thing for everybody involved. And Mike Ross is perfect for that role. And he's the one that's going to be managing the Capcom relationship. So we're going to be working with him closely. And yes, bringing Mike Ross on board was a, was a huge deciding factor for us to move forward with this. Uh, how does it feel for you to be now for the Capcom titles to be integrated with all the other communities and scenes under one league and one roof to have an event where you have the best StarCraft players and fans in the world, best League of Legends players and fans in the world, uh, Shoe Sh Mania is here and the FPS guys and now also to have Capcom at one time. Is that a special moment for you? Uh, definitely. I mean, the other leagues have blown up so much, I think fighting games can definitely be on that same platform. And for us to not be involved, it would be pretty tragic. I mean, the, the competitive fighting scene has been around for so long and so many exciting moments. I think the time has come that we can push things and give, it, give our message to a wider audience and share the joy of fighting games more broad than we've been able to do before. So to be able to have all of those genres all together in the same pot, I, like, I think it's awesome, and I'd, I would love to see how this is going to evolve over time. It's extremely exciting. So now, lastly, is there anything you'd like to say to both your community and also the outside community who might now be watching for the first time? Uh, I mean, don't freak out. Keep an open mind. Uh, let, us, let us show you why you should care about what we are doing here. Um, I mean, we're already starting things off uh, pretty well, I believe. So uh, actually, IPL5 fold, uh, fell on the same weekend as NEC, so we made sure that we're not broadcasting any new content on Saturday and Sunday specifically to give them space. Uh, all the players that are competing in our exhibition series, we're actually flying them out to NEC to make sure that they can participate. So we are, we are taking things very carefully and we want to make sure that the people that have been working for the fighting scene for a long time are not taken advantage of. Uh, and all in all, this is going to be a good thing for everybody involved. So everyone get excited. Yo Esports, it's finally a reality. Um, so get hype. It's going to be fun. Yo Esports, that is what you should learn here from this interview. Thank you, Matt. Right, thank you. I appreciate it. Stay tuned to GameSpot.com slash esports for coverage all weekend long of IPL5 here in Las Vegas.